What's up, everyone? Dimebot here. Welcome back to Flight Sim and the Favorite Places to Fly 2023 World Tour. Today, we're going to be checking out the Channel Islands National Park just off the coast of California. You can see LA right here. You see several of the islands. We're going to take off from Santa Rosa. You have a nice little airstrip right here. This is Betcher's Bay Airstrip. Got ourselves a Cessna 152 Aerobat. I'm going to go ahead and load in here. Now, this is a very unique park in that over half of it is underwater. Uh, so, obviously, in the sim, we're not going to be seeing what's underwater. That would be very bad for airplanes. However, there are <clears throat> five islands here. San Miguel, Santa Rosa, Anacapa, Santa Barbara, and Santa Cruz uh, that we can check out. So, we're going to get ready to fly here. Get rolling. Looks like we have some fairly nice weather. I'm not going to uh, mess with the settings for once. As you might imagine, this is a rather small airstrip. Should be plenty of room to get off the ground now. And we can rotate quite easily. Now, one thing that you will notice uh, about these islands is that they are, and this is kind of accurate in the sim, there's not a lot of trees because uh, before these were designated as a national park, there was a lot of ranching that went on here. And, well, sheep don't like to graze in forests, so uh, the trees got cut down. I'll pull up the VFR and we will have a look now. We are headed to the uh, southeast a little bit. I am going to uh, turn us towards one of the other islands. You can see L.A. just right here. Hard to believe that we're that close to such a major city. But we are. And you can hop from island to island. There is a landing strip, uh, at least one, on several of the islands. Park covers 249,561 acres. And just turn this out a little bit here. You will find ranger stations and some abandoned uh, old ranches on these. And the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary encompasses the water six nautical miles around the actual national park itself. That would be the islands. Take a look out of the cockpit here. And I would highly recommend taking something like a Cessna or something with some floats on it. <clears throat> around here just so you can fly nice and slow and really take in the views uh, there was a major oil spill here in 1969 it was a oil rig that had a blowout off the coast of california it took about 11 days to seal and the uh, tides carried some of the oil slick right to these poor islands well let's go ahead and just look around again see some nice white beaches here and in real life, you would see quite varying ecologies on these islands. However, we can't really land and walk around. So, but you have a few uh, uh, endemic species. They're native just to here. That would be spotted skunk, the Channel Islands fox, the island fence liver, fence liver, fence lizard. It's Monday, guys. I apologize. I can't talk that much. You can see a ship off the coast here. Again, those are going to be static in the sim a lot of the time, but... Gives you an idea of the fact that these islands are sitting off of the coast of California. A lot of ships come in here. But you can kind of forget all that and just fly around the islands and really just enjoy the fairly pristine nature of the islands. As I said, they're reserved, so they are recovering from the, uh, the inhabitants from the early 20th century. Oh, yeah, this is the Channel Island State Park. I've really only shown you one island, but there are four more to go check out again. We'll pull up the VFR for you. You can see one, two, three. Now it is a little bit of a hop to some of the other islands around here, but if you want to practice your overwater flying, instrument flying, a fantastic place to do so, and just an absolutely spectacular view. So, yeah. Really interesting place to check out. So that'll do it for this episode. If you guys found the video useful, helpful, you liked it, hey, like, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. If you have a place you'd like to see me check out, leave it in the comments below. And if you're here to the end of the video, watch time is 
Key on YouTube. So uh, thank you very much. My name is Dinebot, and I'll see you guys next time.